thank you to each of you. I think you're all having a good time. You're a little chatty. Uh, thank you so much for, for being here, for celebrating Lakeland 60 years. It's a pretty amazing accomplishment. noticing on the way in that Mountain Lakes was incorporated I think in 1911 and it's only you know a few years later 47 years later that you have or 46 years later that you have Lakeland Youth Symphony making its home here to begin with. You're going to hear a little bit more about the history of Lakeland in just a few minutes uh, but we do have some very distinguished guests that we'd like to introduce to you this evening. We're very thankful that they were able to be here with us today as well taking time out of their busy schedules. So first of all, I have Assemblyman Carol here, Mike Carroll here with us today. And I'm here today on behalf of all your representatives of the 25th Legislative District. Senator Bucco and Assemblyman Bucco both had to leave early. They went to the Italian American Police Officers Association. My 23 and me disqualified me from that dinner. <laughs> Towards that end, uh, when an entity uh, or a person does something of significant note, we in the legislature like to recognize that. I'm not going to read the entire thing. It just simply says, congratulations on doing this for 60 years. Not one of them looked it. Uh, <laughs> I was duly impressed. Uh, I got to hear things I haven't heard in quite some time. I wish I'd heard a Brandenburg concerto, but the meeting evening is still young. With that, I would like to uh, uh, provide or give this uh, resolution and uh, to uh, your director, I guess, and uh, congratulations on 60 years. You don't look at either. On behalf of the Lake News Symphony, I'm honored to receive this from the state of New Jersey, and uh, very thankful that we have another 60 years and more ahead of us as well as you. Mayor Soriano is here from the, the great town of Persephone. Over. Over 40% of our students come from the town of Persephone and township of Persephone, and so we're very grateful for uh, Mayor Soriano's leadership in, in his township, although he hasn't been there that long yet. <laughs> but he's doing a great job of removing trees and putting power lines back, so we're thankful for that. Thank you very much. I, you know, being asked to be here was uh, quite an honor for me. My musical background and education has been very diverse. And uh, I was asked when, uh, when I was also asked to uh, do the proclamation, Mayor Soriano, do you like classical music? I said, no, I love classical music. <laughs> And that might be a surprise to some, especially if you know anything about me, because before I was mayor, I was an electrician, a construction worker in New York City, where I was raised. And I owe my love of classical music to the construction industry. <laughs> yes. As an apprentice, um, I wound up working with an underwater demolitions technician who became an electrician after many years in the Navy. And this. Unfortunately, I cannot remember the man's name, but I honor him all the time because it was from him that I learned my love of classical music. When I first started working with him, he had a radio, and he said, okay, kid, you can put on whatever you want today, but on Friday, I get to play whatever I want. So every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that, that week, I play something different and I test them a little bit. I tend to like jazz, that's my default. So I'm putting on jazz, I'm putting on 88.3 BGO, I'm putting on CD 101.9, and he knew the jazz music as well as I did, and I was impressed. Then I said, all right, let's test them a little bit. I also like heavy metal, I like hard rock music. I'm putting that on, he knew that too, he knew his classic rock. Then I said, all right, let's push him a little further. I am from the city, I love rap music, I love hip hop, okay? I put that on and he's asking questions. And he's asking about the beats and the measures that are going on. He's asking about the rhyming and, and, and uh, what's going on with the music. And I was very now intrigued with him at his, in, him being inquisitive about different types of music. Played R&B, we played classical, and then at, on Friday, he puts on classical music. He puts on the New York Times station. And I'm like, 
I was a kid. I'm like, oh God, what is this? What is he doing? Every Friday, for eight hours, classical music, all day. And I'm working with this man in an electric closet, doing conduits all day. He was brilliant at mathematics, a brilliant electrician, but classical music every Friday. After a while, I looked forward to Fridays. I looked forward to starting off my Friday with classical music. And I have a love of the New York Times classical music station as well. I mean, on September 11th, 2001, it was the only station in New York that just stayed playing classical music while everyone else was doing the news. They would give you updates, but they said, now more than ever, we're presenting you with this music. So it has brought joy to my life. It's brought peace to my life. And my staff, who expects very loud and crazy and insane music from me sometimes, and then sometimes jazz, just knows on Fridays, leave the mayor alone, because he's going to listen to classical music today, and he doesn't want to be bothered. So thank you for continuing this education. So with that, so with that from a music lover who this is something that I truly love deep in the bottom of my heart, and that you give music as a gift to the community and to children so we can have further generations experience classical music. The Township of Parsippany would like to present you with this proclamation. Happy 60th birthday.